welcome back to another preview and week 15 week 15 we're gonna be facing off the Jacksonville Jaguars at home so you know you have a little reunion here you know if you if you know what happens happened recently in the, in the past few months you have a few you know former Jaguars who you know who now are in the Raven with the Ravens here so you know Calais Campbell and Yannick Ngakwe you know big two big players two big players who were part of the Saxonville defense back in 2017 and uh, yup, and then it just got, it was, and then it just, you know, fell off from that. So it, it, it just lasted like a, a year, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So we have the 1 in 12 Jaguars at home. We're looking to make the playoffs, fighting for a playoff spot. And we have a few scenarios here, you know? If the Colts, Browns, uh, who else? Dolphins. Colts, Browns, and Dolphins lose. The Raiders lost Thursday night. So that is, uh, it pretty much takes them off the map for the playoffs. They're 7-7 seven and seven now. So that is, uh, you know, they have like 4% chance of making the playoffs. If the Dolphins, Dolphins, Browns, and, um, and Colts all lose this weekend... We're, we're gonna be the fifth seed so that and no and we win also we have to win also we're fifth seed but i'm pretty sure if the browns lose wait a sec uh yeah if yeah i mean if the browns lose we win uh i i don't think we take the no, I don't think we take back the second spot of the uh, in the AFC North. Honestly, I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna have to check. But you know, we would need the Dolphins to lose. I mean, the Dolphins have a pretty hard schedule moving forward, so they they probably won't make the playoffs. And if we go 11 and five to make the playoffs, all we need is a Colts loss, a Dolphins loss. A Browns loss or or a Dolphins loss so we pretty much need to need any of these teams to lose one game and us to win out it, it if we if we are to go 10 and 6 it's uh it's you know we need we're gonna need each team to lose either of those teams to lose two games so you may have the Dolphins lose two games, two of the last three, or they might as, or they might lose every single game, every single last three games. But you know, let's take care of our business here. We're playing against the, we're playing against the Jags here. They're one in twelve. I'm gonna make it simple here. Shouldn't be a hard matchup at all. It, it really shouldn't. They're getting Gardner Minshew out. The only problem we have for this matchup is is how we have. Um, our secondary is pretty depleted. We have, we're questionable in a lot of spots. We really are. If you look at our injury report, we have nine players questionable, and most of them are players in the secondary. I mean, Calais Campbell might play, but if he does, if I mean Calais Campbell is also questionable too. By the way. If he plays, he might, I mean, he, he I, I think he will probably play a few snaps, not, you know, he's not going to play tons of snaps, probably going to be the same as the Browns game. So, yeah, I mean, we have two receivers on, three receivers on offense who, uh, who are out so we're gonna be ruling who have co who are on the COVID list we don't know if they're gonna be taken off the COVID list 
It's it's gonna be Marquis Marquis Brown, James Prochet, and um, and Miles Boykin. They're on the COVID list right now. The wide receiver coach got COVID, so that is uh, unfortunate. You know, so we're gonna be rolling with Des Bryant, who got activated, Willie Sneed, and Devin Duvernay. Wouldn't be bad. It's gonna be an opportunity to see Devin Duvernay play more, you know, and and get some more touches. I would love that but other than that it's pretty much all we have most of our offense so that is a good thing but our secondary marcus peters also is questionable he got injured last game on his calf so that is a ah uh, you know it's, it's it's still a big loss he's a starter but most of the time i think they're gonna play you know I, let, let's hope they play Let's hope they play because why not? You know, you really don't want to see players out. And also, we really have no depth in the secondary. Jimmy Smith, by the way, he's been ruled out. He's been ruled out for the game, by the way. So, he's not going to, he's the guy that's for sure not going to play. But we have other guys in the secondary who are questionable, who have a chance of playing. There is a chance of playing here, so that is a good thing, you know. So, I mean, you know, we could in this game. It's it's a one in twelve team. It's a one in twelve team. What we should do is just their their secondary, their pass defense isn't good. They're thirty first in the league in. You know, in yards allowed per game, I'm pretty sure. Yards, yards allowed? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's that. But it's still, they're still very generous in that department. They're running, they're, their run defense, I don't know how good it is. I haven't checked. But, you know, it, it doesn't really matter for us. We've ran over every good run defense in this league. I have no clue if the Jags' run defense is good. I have no clue. Just gonna tell you guys right now, but we ran all over the Steelers. We ran all over the Colts. We run all like all we do. We're gonna run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and then just run the ball because it 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 it, it looks so easy. It, it is just so easy, no matter who we're facing. I mean, we could pass the ball too. I, I think we could pretty much do anything, and then win the game on offense we could do anything but our identity is running the ball so <laughs> you know I, I i'm really not i really don't want to pass the ball 60 times really not um you know it's it, it's whatever you know it's it is what it is i mean lamar beat the browns with his arm pretty much he you know, he had, his, he had the entire game-winning drive with his arm. Ran all over the Browns. You know? And, uh, you know, they were a top-10 run defense, by the way. So, it, it's not like we faced some terrible run defense. We did, felt, we did face, a, like, one of the worst secondaries in the league. I mean, it's not, like, one of the worst, but, like, they're middle of the pack. But... They, they really weren't good, you know, especially on that touchdown on 4th and 5. That was terrible. I have no clue why he, you're going to leave Marquise Brown open like that. I, I mean, it's the only time he's going to be he's gonna ever be open. It's, it's if someone else leaves him open. So that is, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. But yeah, on defense, you know, if Calais Campbell plays... You know, reunion with his old team. You know, it's uh, it is how it is here, and uh, you know, I really don't think they sh they would be doing anything against us, honestly. Still, because if they're gonna run the ball, <laughs> I mean, I mean, we still have Brennan Williams, Derek Wolf is questionable, Calais Campbell is questionable. But other than that, man, it's like if they play, I, I I really don't think they're going, you know, anywhere in the air. Maybe, you know, 
because our secondary is depleted, but shouldn't do much. So score predictions here. I'm going to do this quick. The video shouldn't take long because it's not a big game. So yeah, uh, score predictions here. I'm going to say 45-13 Baltimore. We're going to improve to 9-5, and five, you know. And then uh, on to NYJ. So yeah, we're going to end the video here. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Comment down below, down below what you think of this game. And your score predictions. What you think is going to happen. And yeah, guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.